and welcome back to the Pendry home or welcome if you are new here. My name is Lakin and it has been a while <laughs> since I have been on here. It actually was a very unintentional month off of YouTube. Somehow it just happened for the month of October and I think that's also just a good reminder that you can have your whole life planned out. You can have your whole month planned out because I had I have all my videos planned out for the rest of the year, but things happen, life happens, and you may not be able to to do that, you know? You may just have to do what you have to do, and that's it. Um, but I'm back, and I missed you guys so much, and unfortunately, we're going to be ending the fall content probably in the next two videos. Um, so the fall homemaking series is actually coming to an end and we're going to start Christmas. But today I figured I would still give y'all a fun fall video, just a day in the life. I have a lot of cleaning to do. Um, and then tonight, because it's October 29th, right? Is it? Or 28th. October 28th right now. It's a Friday. Um, the Friday before Halloween. Um, but tonight my sister-in-law and her husband are coming over and we're going to carve pumpkins and like all that stuff. Just have like a fun fall night together and watch a movie and all that. So I'm actually going to be making some potato soup and a salad and then I just bought these little cupcakes. I didn't feel like making any. Um, so I did cheat and buy dessert tonight instead of making any. But that's okay. Um, but I will show you guys my potato soup recipe. I actually have shared that in a video past, but it's been a very long time. So I figured I would just go ahead and include it in this video today too. Um, I still need to go put that in the crock pot and also just need to really clean the house. A lot of cleaning to be done. And I really need to vacuum. I want to vacuum the couches out, get them cleaned. Um, I really need to clean the kitchen and start that potato soup in the crock pot. It's so easy and delicious and it'll be my first time making making it um, for this season, which I'm really excited about. I also need to clean up the bedroom, straighten it up, and the bathroom. So we got a lot to do today, and I'm really excited. And then, I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys, I went shopping like the first week of October is when I try to go ahead and get Christmas decor and like um, buy new things and stuff. Um, I might include the haul in this video, um, or it might be in the next video, like a new Christmas decor haul of kind of my preparations for Christmas. And um, I know for sure in the next video, we're gonna be taking down all of the fall decor and at least setting up the Christmas trees because I have quite a few Christmas trees to set up. Um, but, so I may include the Christmas decor haul in that video. If that's something that y'all would like to see, then definitely let me know, because I think I will end up putting it in that video, and that way I can show you guys some of the new finds that I have found um, during this season. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with cleaning and getting that soup in the crock pot, and just kind of hanging out today. one of my favorite times of the video where we do the daily Bible verse um, or in this case the daily Bible chapter I'm gonna be reading um, in Psalms 56 and we're gonna do the whole entire chapter and this is a really good chapter and I think we all can relate to this um, um, few verses here in the Bible um, because this is the, the topic of these um, few verses is um, faith in God and learning to rely on Him in times of fear and just really learning to just fully rely on the Lord. Um, so um, here in Psalms 56, it says, Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresseth me. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they may be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps when they wait for my soul. 
shall they escape by iniquity. In thine anger cast down the people, O God. Thou tellest my wonderings, put thou my, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. In God will I praise his word, in the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me, O God, I will render praises unto thee, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. Wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Um, And some of my favorite verses in this chapter are verse number three, where it says, what time am I afraid? I will trust in thee. When we are afraid, we need to remember, you know, we just need to trust in the Lord and what he wants for us. And this is, of course, David is writing this and, um, you know, he was going through a hard time, um, with the Philistines. Um, but, but how true is that, that, you know, yes, we may have hardships in our life. Yes, we may be faced, be faced with something. But just, you know, always remembering, you know, we're just going to trust in the Lord to get us through this. Um, and then in, in verse 4, it says, In God I will praise His word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. You know, the Lord doesn't want us to fear. Um, and He wants us to trust in us. And that's one of the reasons that I love these few verses here in this chapter. Um because it's just a simple reminder, you know, that yes, we're going to be faced with things, but all we have to do is trust in the Lord and he's going to get us through that no matter what. And, and down in, um, verse 13, it says, you know, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. Wilt thou, will not thou deliver my feet from falling that I may walk before God in the light of the living. So yes, the Lord may give us hardships. Yes, the Lord may give us battles that we have to go through or mountains that we have to climb, but he gives us those things so that we learn and that we grow. Um, as it says here, you know, that you, you have to learn, um, how to get through hardships and stuff by trusting in the Lord so you can have more faith in him. And then that way you're learning how to fully lean into him and live for him when you do those things. Um, so I I just really like this chapter. I think it has so much good in it. Um, and I totally recommend you guys reading it yourselves. Um, it's just such a good, such a good chapter and, and it just has so much truth to it. Um, you know, that, God is faithful. All we have to do is trust him no matter what we're going through. And he's going to keep our feet on the ground and get us right where we need to be. mention as always that if anybody has any prayer requests or praise reports then you can always leave those down in the comments below i would love to pray for you in your time of need or praise with you um i absolutely love reading through those and um as i always usually say you know we all can use some prayer and especially in the world we're living in um and it's always nice to know that you have an extra friend praying for you wanted to mention that I have missed you guys so so much like I said in the beginning of this video um, you know life happens and life changes happen and but I'm so happy to be back and starting up our Christmas homemaking series um, so stay tuned for that tomorrow there will actually be another video going up and it'll be undecorating for fall and starting to put the Christmas trees up and then next week y'all can look forward to decorating the house for Christmas, which I am so excited to share with y'all. Okay, so 
So as y'all just saw, I cut up my potatoes, carrots, and onions for my potato soup. And I put carrots and onions in mine. You can also put celery in there if you want to. Um, I just know every time I make it, I always make it for when we have like friends and stuff come over. And I cannot remember, somebody doesn't like celery. And I'm not sure if it's the people that are coming over tonight or if it was our other, just our friends, like not our family. So I'm not gonna put celery in it because I really cannot remember who didn't like celery. Um, so I use the russet potatoes and you can use about eight to 10 of those, um, about five to six carrots and just depending on how many you want, if you, you know, want to do it like this. And then I just use one onion. And then all you're gonna do is add in one of these. I get the reduced sodium chicken broth, the organic um, Walmart brand. It's not gonna focus today, y'all. You're just gonna go ahead and pour just a whole one of these in here. And then you're gonna do one stick of butter. You're gonna do one can of the cream of chicken with herbs. This is the best one, it has the best flavor in it. This just adds creaminess and flavor to the soup. So I do chicken based broths and, and stuff. So that's how I do mine. I made this recipe up about two, two years ago and it is, it's delicious. It's definitely a really good one and it's just so easy. Okay, do one of those. You do one block of cream cheese. I try to like, I forgot to let it sit out for a little bit to get soft because it does kind of mix easier in there when it's more soft. But I'm gonna run it through my hands real quick. <laughs> Hopefully to kind of soften it up more. So now we're just gonna season the soup. So I use onion and garlic powder and you do about one tablespoon to two tablespoons of this. Um, I don't measure. I really just throw it in there. As y'all know, if you've watched my videos with any kind of recipe in it, sometimes I measure things and most of the time, this is how we cook. <laughs> we just throw it in there. And then we're gonna do some salt and pepper to taste. And once everything's in the crock pot, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on high just because it is later in the evening. It's already almost three o'clock um, and we're supposed to be eating at six. So, since I'm kind of in a rush, I'm just gonna do it on high. I'm just gonna set it on there for four hours. And then I'll come back and check on it just really until my potatoes get soft. Once my potatoes get softened down, then um, I'll turn the heat down. And I like to either add in like a biscuit mix or a cornstarch or something just to thicken it up more. I know some people when they make potato soup, they like to um, blend their potatoes up to thicken it up. I keep my potatoes exactly how they are. Um, and I just throw in some either cornstarch or just biscuit mix, it's super easy mix that in there and it'll thicken it up. So we're gonna let this sit. We're gonna continue cleaning. I'm gonna move into the living room, I think now. Um, I'll clean up the kitchen a little bit too. Um, I do still need to cut up a salad as well, but that can wait. I'm gonna get the living room cleaned up and then I wanna set up our, I got a, a tablecloth and everything to set up for the pumpkin carving um, on the table that we're gonna be doing that on. So I wanna go ahead and get all that stuff ready too and figure out all that situation as well. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I came in the living room to clean and Milo has literally been napping here ever since like this morning. He's been here all day and I don't want to move you, but I got to, I'm sorry. Hi baby. <gasps> Look at this cute boy. Hi. <laughs> I need to put him in his little Halloween shirt. 
Yeah. Come on. You gotta wake up. You can go to my bed. You can go to my bed. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. I know. You mama's boy. I'm gonna have to move him, y'all. <laughs>
a witch. It's a little happy spider. I got the spider web and a spider there. Just your boo, which is really cute. This is a little jacky lantern. I got a Frankenstein. And another cat with a moon and bats, which this one's really cute. And then they got bats and a moon. And then another just like pumpkin face. Which you'll probably heard. Houston is home. And he's ready to watch TV. Man, the dog. Mm-hmm. While we wait for everybody to get here. But also, I want to show y'all. I turned on these lights here. They're so pretty. I ended up adding these um, lights in this garland. Like right after I decorated um, the living room. You'll have to go check out that video. I'll leave it in the description box. But it just makes it look so much more like whimsical. It's so pretty. So I turned those on and lit a candle and everything. So And shut the blinds and set the cozy mood. Are you ready for your soup? And salad yes and cupcakes so it literally looks so empty and naked in here without that table it's crazy but I want to get Milo in his little outfit because how fun and I bought this piece of fabric for a lady and I was gonna try to like put it on her as a bandana but it is too small and I don't really know what to do to make it fit so I might try to play with this a little bit and try to get on her. It's just this really cute like fall Halloween-ish looking thing. So I'm gonna put Milo in his little outfit because that's gonna be precious. He's eating. Let's see if I can do it. Oh my goodness. Running away. Okay. There you go. You look so cute. Look at that. Look at this cute boy. <laughs> He's not happy about it. Yeah, there you go. There's your outfit. How cute is that? How cute is this boy? Go show daddy. Go show him your outfit. enjoyed today's video in this last fall day in the life with me and definitely try out that potato soup recipe it is so so good and so easy to make um, and let me know if you do try it out I would love to know what you think about it um, but like always um, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below if you are new here so you can join the Pendry home family and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it until next time bye y'all Thank you.